Hello and welcome, let's add some epic glitch effects to your video. I am using Shotcut, make sure you have a latest version, and I'm just gonna add some video clips to it. I'm gonna put it on the timeline. When I'm done, we're gonna add some glitch effects. Alright, here we go. We're gonna start by clicking on the first clip and we're just gonna press the plus in filters. And we're gonna type in glitch, because that's a standard effect, or filter that actually exists. Let's take a look. This is extremely hectic. So we're gonna reduce the frequency to, let's go for 5%. All right, this is just, uh, this seems like really there's some kind of glitch in the video feed or something like that. Let's uh, try to set it to 15. Yeah, this is a bit cooler. And we can change the height of these blocks. We can make it really wide or really, f oh, no, look at that. Now that certainly looks like some kind of problem with the video. Nice. Okay, let's increase the block height again. And what we can also do is change the intensity of the shift. Let's try this out. Maximum shifting and less shifting. And we can also change the saturation or color intensity of these shifts. Nice. I really like this effect. The next uh, glitch effect, we're gonna just add this on top. That's the RGB one. Let's select it and uh, take a look. RGB shift makes it much more intense. Also a little bit laggy. So let's actually add RGB as well to this clip. RGB. And take a look at the values. We have a vertical shift and we have horizontal shift. And it's pretty self-explanatory. If you set everything to 50%, I think it's all centered. Yeah, so there is no shift if it's 50. But if you change it, then it's displaced. And we can also keyframe these values. I'm just gonna jump to the beginning here and add keyframes. All right, and now let's jump to the end. I guess we have to create new keyframes. So let's just change this a little. Uh, and now let's take a look at this clip. This is quite slow. Let's move this around some more. I would say don't overdo it. If it's rather slight, I think that's a cooler effect. Or you can just make a lot of keyframes. That might be pretty cool as well. Yeah, yeah, this is much better. And you might also want to change the type of these keyframes to discrete. If you do that, the changes will be less smooth and a bit more radical. Glitch, 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 glitch. Yeah, and these smooth changes are a bit strange instead. Yeah, I definitely prefer the discrete keyframes. All right, let's get to the next clip. Basically, we want the size and position filter, and we can simply use the preset shake one second. So this is useful for short bursts. And we can have different kinds of shakes. We can split the clip with S and change this and select. This time we're gonna have a scaled version. Right, let's actually combine this with the uh, RGB shift ones. Let's copy this uh, effect and paste it in here. And over here we're gonna copy the both of them actually. And paste them in here. Let's take a look. Yeah, this, yeah, this is, oh, this is really nice. Oh, this is really nice. Glad I showed this one off. All right, so there's another way to do a glitch effect, and it doesn't have anything to do with these values. You can, of course, add old film filters, for example, Technicolor, that allows you to play around with colors in a retro style. You can have Projector, which adds flickering, if you like. You can add Grain with an old film filter, Crazy, I don't want that. Maybe scratches? Yeah, scratches is kind of cool as well. Let's actually paste the other filters on top. Yeah, this, this might work well. This might work well. But if we remove all of them, I instead want to show you a different kind of glitch effect. Let's just take one clip, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna export it, but we're gonna go to advanced settings, and we're gonna set the codec quality to 0%. And when we press export file, we're just gonna give it a name. Let's call it low Q for low quality. And once the job is done, as you can see at the top right here in jobs, we can see this clip here. And if we drag it in, 
it's a bit hard to see but it actually looks really bad because it's extremely compressed so there's a huge chunks of let's call it pixels or artifacts in there it is quite bad we can try to export it again at zero percent quality let's do that low q2 hopefully it will look even worse actually not so much but we're gonna export this another time again we're just gonna go for a constant bitrate codec and we're gonna set a bitrate to 64k low q3 oh yeah you can see there's even more glitches or there's even more artifacts in here so this one combined with the actual filters for glitch looks extra nice in my opinion if you want to have this low res look or compressed look for some reason and if you cannot find these filters in your shortcut make sure you have the latest version mine currently is 1904.30 hope you enjoy these filters have fun editing videos give this video a like and i will see you next time until then ciao